Foley's here with uh, the, the uh, champion at 119. We're here at 125, and we'll have uh, Frank's discussion here in just a second. Yes. With the champion at 119, what a match. Huh? Let me tell you something. That kid hurt. He's sitting right next to me. They got ice on his nose. We'll talk to him in a minute. We've got Mason right here, but we're going to stick with Perry all the way through the match. We don't want to take away from any of these kids. We'll get Todd Mason in. Good job. There's Perry's takedown. The first two points he's going to score here with 128 in the first period. Here, 125, they're going to go out of bounds. This Stonewall Jackson wrestler has his hands full. Perry is a junior. Carl Perry is a junior. They will both be back here. Two seniors here. Carl Perry indicates that he's going to let Pereira up. And indeed he does, but then he's right back in his face to get this started. And that will give one point for, to Pereira for his escape. And the score is now 2-1 in favor of Perry. This is not a wrestler, Frank, that Perry's going to be able to play the takedown game with. No. You know, take him down, let him up, take him down, let him up to try to get his points racked up. Not something he's going to be able to do here. This uh, Pereira from Stonewall Jackson here is a pretty tough guy. Now, let me tell you what. Uh, uh, Perry, of course, he's, he's my pick here in the finals. And uh, man, so far I'm batting a thousand. Yeah. But let me tell you what, Grant. They have wrestled once before, and uh, Perry beat him by 13 points. So you gotta like Perry. Four to one to score now. Another thing in Perry's favor, of course, he got into the finals early. Pereira had to get into the finals, uh, come in another way. And had a few more matches. So Perry probably not as tired as he was last week in the finals in the, the region. Pereira gets an escape to make the score four to two. Perry's still up by two. Russell's going to go out of bounds. On their feet. 38 seconds to go in the match. 38 seconds to go in the first period here. Perry trying to rack up a few more points now, up 4 2. And now makes that 6 2 with another takedown. Three takedowns of Pereira. And even though I said Perry not going to be able to do it, Frank, he is playing the takedown game thus far. Well, it's, it's, it's not a matter of team points. Great Bridge has already won, and it's right. just what you do best. You want right. to win with what you do best. Well, Todd, Todd Mason won with what he did best, is just being a tough cookie, and he didn't crumble. His nose got a little bruised, but he didn't crumble. <laughs> Six to two, the score for now, 125, 22 seconds in the first period. Carl Perry, not content to let Pereira up this time. I'm gonna try to roll him over against some of those back points, maybe a fall. The Turk, remember we talked a lot about those Turks. Yeah. Perry's trying to, he missed that, and he's just playing, crawling up and keeping a lot of pressure on him. Uh, one of the things Wayne Martin said that he's going to have to do is chain wrestle him. In other words, one thing right after another, just yeah. keep throwing stuff, chain wrestle him. That's the end of the first period now. Into the second period, Perry's still up 6-2. you will be on top. Pereira on top. Gives Perry a few more opportunities to score, but he's going to stand up. It looks like Perry, instead of trying for the reversal, is just going to try to step out here and get his escape. Wrestlers go out of bounds. Clock will stop, and they'll go back to the center with a minute 47 on the clock. 125 pound finals. Virginia State High School League Triple A finals. Okay. Perry looks like he got to be able to pull his head out right there, so he's going to get his two takedown, or rather the two reversal points, make it 8-2 with a minute 34 on the clock. And that's a little more where Perry wants to be. He's going to let him up for the escape, and that's going to make the score 8-3. Perry in tight. He just, he's just smothering Pereira, just keeping on him. That chain wrestling. Pierre is a two-time state place winner, so he's no slouch by any no. means. There's an outside sweep, outside sweep. And a quick escape. They're going to let Pereira get there to make the score 10-4. And he comes right back at him. 
Second period just about halfway over. Another takedown. That's going to make it 12 to 4. Injury time, Pereira. Uh, maybe at this time we can get our camera swinged around here. I've got, Is this a blood timeout, Mr. I've got with me Todd Mason. Virginia State High School rules. You have six minutes to stop the bleeding. If you don't stop the bleeding. Let's go to Frank now, who's with our uh, state champion at 119, Mason of Stonewall Jackson. Your injury timeout of two minutes. Todd Mason, congratulations to you, son. What a gutsy performance. Thank you. Just won a state championship and did it. Turn your head, look at me a little bit. Look at his nose. This is a nose that any any Italian would love. Uh, hey, you, you got you took the mask off, or was it just bothering you? It kept coming down, and I couldn't see anything. Kept sliding down. It's another kid's mask. I didn't plan on having my nose broken in the tournament, so. You definitely got to have your own mask. Right. So I didn't have it, so I had to borrow it from another teammate. So that's how I got my mask. It didn't fit. Well, if anybody said, when you go home, he said, yes, I went to the state championship, you can prove it by just looking at you. But the cool thing about it is, you won in a dramatic crowd. You won this crowd over. A lot of people were pulling for you, young man. Congratulations to you. What a splendid job. I just want to say thanks to the crowd. Everybody's up there. My parents, they put, they put plenty of bleacher time in there to get me to this point. I just want to thank my parents and the Lord. He got me here. Hey, class act. Todd Mason, state champ. Have a good night. Thanks, Frank. What a class act right there, thanking his parents. They don't do that too often. Back out there on the mat now with one oh, actually one minute left in the second period, and Pereira's going to get the quick escape point now to make it 12-5. Tell you what, I've done a lot of interviews, and I, that was one of those ones I was tingling. That was just, you see his nose? Yeah, Holy hurts. moly. God. I can't even look. I can't look. 12-7 now, after that escape, Pereira's able to get a takedown. As Perry just and Perry's gonna get to, and Perry's going to get two more points here. Second period, 14-7 to score. 14-7. This place is still just packed, standing room only here at Oscar Smith High School. Perry's going to go back in here. They had a blood timeout a few minutes ago, by the way, while you were talking to uh, Mason. That's... Whoa. Oh. I tell you what, Perry is no slouch. Don't let this no. score fool you at any time. Mike Pereira can throw some lightning. He can throw some thunder. He can throw some thunder. There's the escape point right there for Pereira to make it 14-8. Look at this. What did I just say? Whoa, at any moment. At any moment. And there's the end of the second period. And right the buzzer, Carl Perry's going to get those two points to make it 16-8. Oh, the Great Bridge fans yelling down. They want the two points awarded uh, now to Great Bridge. Matata, oh, no. Time matter running out during the transition. They no, actually, those, yeah, those two points went to Pereira. It's a 16 to 10, so this is a, there is some, there are 26 points in this match with Carl yeah. Perry in. Just through two matches. Right, so it's. Carl, Matt Kohler, Richard Slocum, John Morelli, Chip Reyes, Justin Baker, Todd Mason. Please report to the So now the score is 16-10. Still in favor of Carl Perry. Doesn't seem like quite the runaway it did earlier. And the entire third period still to go here at 125. Perry's going to let him up to give him the escape point, make it 16-11. You see, you think I told you earlier about wrestling heaven. Look at this. Look at this crowd. That's everywhere you turn, every angle shot. This place is packed. Great job, promotion-wise. Thank you, everyone, for turning out, supporting these young men. Believe me, you and I both know they deserve it. 16-11. Perry, a junior. Perry up by five. Pereira, a junior. Pereira is a two-time state place winner. Perry, a two-time state place winner. And both of these guys seated first from their region coming in. Perry first in the eastern region and Pereira first out of the northwest region. Carl Perry was third in the state in 1983 and second in 1994. I tell you what, if it wasn't for Carl Perry at this weight class, Pereira would probably win it. So, but that's the way it happens. That's right. 
That's the way it happens. There are guys who won the state championship that didn't get even get back to the finals. Some of our Channel 53 viewers up in Northern Virginia will recognize some of the names coming up. Finally, someone out of the Northern Region coming up, rushing, the defending champion coming out of Lee High School up in the Northern Region. He's oh, coming nice up in the finals at 130. 16-11, still the score. And not a lot of change, a whole minute gone by. They were racking up the points, and now a whole minute gone by, Frank, here in the third period, and uh, no change in the score. That's right, Richie, no change in the score. No change in the score. That's right. Inside of a minute now in the third period. I tell you what, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, wherever you are watching this at, we were heard that uh, the, the, the teams from Northern Virginia and from out of town that came in to the state tournament was our show airs on Thursday nights, and uh, they were either, they sat in a hotel and watched the whole regional championship. How about that? 35 seconds now. It's 18-11 after Perry gets to take down, and he's about to have enough of this messing around. 30 seconds remaining. Officials, 30 seconds. Eighteen eleven, twenty-one 21 seconds. Carl Perry looks like he's going to be the state champion here at 125, just a junior. He'll be back. Ten seconds remaining in this match. Let me go get him. Pereira. Pereira pretty much knows it's over. Two, one second. That's the ball game here at 125. Carl Perry gets quite a reaction from the crowd. And he's your state champion by a score of 18 to 11. A lot of scoring taking place in that particular match. And now coming up at 1.30, we're going to see rushing the defending champion in the number one seat out of the northern region from Lee High School, taking on Bradley of Lee Davis High School in the central region. First match so far, we haven't had somebody coming out of the um, eastern region and the finals. In sixth place, Matt Goldberg. Now you see awards being given. In fifth place. There's Carl Perry with his brother Adam, a former wrestler, and his brother Matt Perry, the uh, Perry brothers over there celebrating together. In fourth place from Robinson High School. And now let's go over to Frank, uh, who's with Carl Perry, our 125-pound state champion. Frank. Carl Perry, are you ready for this? Yeah. You're the state champ. Yeah, man. Finally. Like You've been after that for a long time. Yeah, praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. Look, you kind of kept this same kind of Carl Perry match, but the guy you wrestled in the finals was pretty tough, two-time state place winner. Yeah, he was real tough. Anything you, were doing, anything you were trying to look for? Wrestle a normal match. Go ahead and wrestle hard. Got some fancy. Well, you did it. State champion, let me tell you what, he's a pretty darn good cameraman, too. Carl Perry, he's the state champ. Thank you, Frank. Uh, if you hear the cheers go up here in the gym at Oscar Smith High School, it's because Todd Mason was just awarded his state championship medal. And as we said, he's a crowd favorite. Now we go on to 130, where we see rushing of Lee High School, a defending state champion, the number one seed from the North Region. Those uh, Channel 53 viewers up in Northern Virginia may recognize that name. Is taking on Bradley of Lee Davis High School from the Central Region. He also comes in as the number one seed. Now, Frank, you picked that one, right? You've been right every...